are at our next adventure and our bees are in this area here. They're in the soffit, but also in the roof. And thermal's looking like it's coming up to here. So this is gonna be a pain in the neck, but it's a lot easier going this route through the roof than through the soffit and also the um, office area. Here's a look through the thermal. Uh, chimneys there on the right. I mean, they're coming in through the soffit. You can see some thermal heat there in the soffit, but I think we're also more so basically uh, above the roof line of the house. The shingles are off. We had another layer underneath, pain in the neck. So we are ready to take off the plywood. I gotta cut, off, cut it out. And we gotta see how big these ladies are. I started cutting out uh, this line and this line. This is a factory cut here. So the last thing I need to do is cut a line here. What I was doing is using a long, about two and a half inch um, old saw, hand saw. And what I'm doing is going underneath to cut the comb as much as I can. Well, I pissed off the bees. You know, you get to see how aggressive they are. And uh, this helps cut the comb that's hanging on the top of the plywood. So we'll see if that helps. I'm gonna basically put some handles here and here and try to just pull the thing up. It, it's gonna be interesting. But as you can see, these girls aren't happy and they're a little bit more aggressive than some of the other bees I've taken out. Maybe we'll actually get stung today, we'll see. They're not really too happy to see me, but I'm about ready to just try to pick this thing up. There's a lot of honeycomb in there. It's gonna be heavy, it's probably gonna fall all over the place. But main thing is getting these bees out of here and trying to get them out safe. We got her opened up. piece of comb I pulled out and there she was hiding and caught her so it's an exciting day it's exhausting but exciting to find the queen the game's over so anyhow uh, headed back home gonna all float the bees and relocate the queen and her girls this is the first time I have seen a cut out of mine go chaotic just rushing out of the box I've never seen this before the Queen's in there I put her in her you know the Queen catcher she's in there but they're going crazy next morning not sure why they're still out but there must be a lot of bees in there and they're trying to cool things down 